So here we see the net equation for balancing a redox reaction in an acidic medium, where we see that we only have H+. Plus. Now, if we take this further, if we take the same equation where we have MnO4 minus SO2 and H2O, giving you Mn2 plus uh, SO42 minus and 4H plus, if we want to balance this equation in a basic medium, then we'll see that what we have to do is take this further in the sense that we have to um, add OH minus uh, on both sides of the equation. So here we see that we have our same equation, but to balance it in an acidic, in a basic medium now, we have to add OH minus on both sides of the equation. Now because we have 4H plus on the right hand side, we have to add 4OH minus to cancel the H plus to create water. So if you add 4OH minus on the right hand side, that means we must also add 4OH minus on the left hand side because we must balance the equation on both sides. Now if we add that up, we see that what we end up with is that on the, on the, on the, on the right hand side of the equation, we have 4H plus and plus 4OH minus giving you 4H2O. And on the left hand side of the equation, we bring the 4OH minus down. And if we now have to work out the net equation, we see that we've got two water on the left hand side and we've got four water, 4H2O on the right hand side. So if we have to work that out and balancing out, we see that balance it out, we see that on the right hand side we'll get, get two H2O and we'll have four OH minus on the left hand side. And this will be the net uh, redox reaction in a basic medium. So if we look at this uh, balancing of redox reactions, if we go back to the previous slide, you'll see that there's simple steps that we can follow in balancing redox reactions.